Today I'm reacting to Jay-Z's watch collection and his fake Rolex. You know that we're actually reviewing a collection that even if we put half his collection on, it's gonna be the most expensive collection we've ever reviewed. It's bonkers like. Can we do a money counter here? Because this is gonna overrule every other money counter ever in the world produced of watch video thing units. I'm actually excited for this one. Jay has long attested the superiority of Hublot watches over Rolexes. And in 2012, Beyonce gave him the ultimate gift for his 43rd birthday, a $5 million Hublot. I was really looking forward to this. Why would you put this first? What have I done to deserve this? I just wanted to start off right. Hublot. It's f***ing disgrace. This watch was completely crusted with over 1,200 diamonds that are certified VVSG colored diamonds, which are one of the finest types of diamonds available. Exactly, because the only thing he talks about in this watch is diamonds and not about the watch. You see what I mean? Because it's not a f***ing watch, it's a piece of shit, and the diamonds are half decent. I just don't know what to say. You know that Jay-Z made his own Hublot watch? F***ing horrible. Should we add five million to the country? No, look at that. What you see here is something f***ing special. Something you never see on a rapper. This is cool. This is the GLC Reverso tribute to 1931. You know what happened in 1931? No. In 1931, GLC came out with the Reverso, specifically for the game of polo. It was a watch that you could flip and turn around so it will protect the watch face. The GLC Reverso is one of the most classic, one of the most important, and one of the coolest watches in the world. A watch that retailed back in the day between 20 and $22,000, but unfortunately, the resale value of that watch and the current market value of that watch sits between 10 and $12,000. That's just cool. Look at him. Look at Jay-Z wearing his reverso. New watch alert, Hugh blows. Big face rolly, I got two of those. This is one of my all-time favorite video clips. You know that Jay-Z was the first rapper really to rap about Hublot? I think he regrets it now because he's wearing Grandmaster Chimes. He's wearing RMs. What are you wearing? I'm wearing wannabe Gautier. RM11, Richard Millet, RM11. But this is, this is wannabe Gautier. So let me take that off and put something proper on. This is the Casioke. The jellyfish. You know why they call it jellyfish? Why? Because it stings like a bee. A bee? You mean a jellyfish? Jellyfish. This is God tier. I just want to say a big thank you to our sponsor of this video, IFL Watches. This watch is a collaboration between IFL Watches and the Dow Artist. The Dow Artist is a UK-based artist that hand paints watches. God tier. Watches. You can find more about Chris at the Dial Artist on Instagram. This watch is a limited edition of 200 pieces and available only at IFL Watches. I f***ing love this. Look at that. Hand f***ing paint. No bother. Jellyfish. That is God tier, ladies and gentlemen. The previous version of this watch was sold out within four days. To make sure you do not miss out this time, click the first link in the description to get your own hand painted limited edition God tier watch. Not eye level, my bezel courtesy your auto mars. Told you, told you. He's growing up, he's becoming more mature. Out of more. That's class. That's good to hear. That's f the math. Jay Z is wearing a wannabe God tier watch here. It's exactly the same. That's mad. What you see here, and what you see here, is the RM1101 Philippe Massa. This is a flyback chronograph Richard Millet. The one that I have here, this one is part of my personal collection. This one is a limited edition from 150 pieces. This is the Le Mans version of the Philippe Massa. That is the normal version. This RM1101 is valued between 300 and 320 thousand dollars. You wouldn't believe that that is one of his cheaper watches. Like, what a mad her. Fuck me, but What you see here is the Audemars PK Royal Oak concept made in full carbon. This Audemars PK Royal Oak reference number 26265F for fuck you and O for oh my god is worth between 200 and 210 thousand dollars. Oh, oh, this is that Hublot what I told you about. The Sean Carter by Hublot. At the top of my head, they made 250 pieces in ceramic and 250 pieces in rose or yellow gold. And this is the actual watch. Mate, I'm not going to lie, but that looks horrible. Like, for a man of that taste and a man of that stature, he's even a billionaire wearing that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is unacceptable. That's not good, Jay-Z. 
The value of this watch is absolutely f all, so add zero to the counter, will you? No, the second hand price they're going for in at about 10 grand. You can put $10,000 on there. No, you can take it off. Take it off, take it off. Actually take 50 off, because it's actually degrading his collection. There's a story behind this watch, which was absolutely insane. Jay-Z hosted a charity event. Part of the invitation was this rose gold Rolex Daytona, reference number 116505. Absolutely insane. This watch now is worth between sixty and seventy thousand dollars. I think the counter is still below a million, isn't it? Let's bump it up with a few of his mad f***ing pieces. What you see here is a Richard Mille RM twenty seven oh one. This is f***ing bonkers. This watch was only produced five times. Even the material is special. White TPT. The current market value of this RM2701 in white TPT sits between 2.5 and 2.7 million dollars. Right, now the counter is going like a mad her. Come on boy! A piece unique. A Richard Mille that was made specifically for our man Jay-Z. Meaning that this is the only one in the world. The entire case of the watch is made out of synthetic blue sapphire. And that, that is so f***ing difficult to produce. I would estimate this watch today to be worth between five and six million dollars. Six million, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk Patek Philippe. One of the most complicated wristwatches Patek Philippe has ever produced. A watch that contains more than 1,500 components, fully mechanical. The 6300G in white gold. A watch that was sold for 2.2 million when it first came out. Only six of these watches have ever been produced. Due to an auction in 2019, this exact reference number, but then made not in white gold, but in steel, was sold for an insane $31 million. Jay-Z has exactly that watch, but then made in white gold. I would say that the value sits between four and five million dollars. Remember the blue Richard Mille? He also has exactly that watch in green. It's also a piece unique. That watch in full green sapphire is valued between five and six million dollars. Put another six million dollars on there. F***ing Jay-Z boy. Jay-Z doesn't f*** about. <laughs> Oh, he has a Celestial as well, mate. A 6102, f*** me, boy. That is just mad. This is a Patek Philippe 6102P. This watch is worth between three hundred and forty and three hundred and sixty thousand dollars So Jay-Z has a collection worth this. I have no idea how much because I lost count, but he also has a fake Rolex. Although this watch is completely and utterly fake, it is a very, very important fake. This is the watch that started off the brand. The watchmaker, Frank Muller. In the late 80s, Frank Muller was experimenting on a Rolex Datejust. Frank Muller took this watch apart and built a complete new movement. He installed a perpetual calendar, he installed a moon face, and this is the actual watch that basically started Frank Muller as a watchmaker. It's impossible to value. I know we haven't even touched the surface of his entire collection, but I can sure say this is one of the most impressive collections I've ever seen or heard of. Oh, my back! Oh, mate. My back. Ow! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I love these watches, by the way. 